it has been awesome. Um, I've gotten to meet so many new people, people from diverse backgrounds. I'm getting used to most of the stuff here, but sometimes, you know, one or two certain issues still surprise me. I didn't really face any discrimination, like on the opposite. I actually felt, feel like people treat me nicer because of who I am, like I am different. In between still loving the country and don't want to leave because I got so accustomed to the values and the food and the nice people there. Stages of cultural adjustment have been studied for many years, mostly through experiential research by tracking the experiences of sojourners. Unlike vacation travelers who can easily go in and go out, sojourners are people who stay in a new country. There are typical patterns that most people's experiences will follow. The stages generally follow like a four-step process. The top of the curve is like a honeymoon phase where everything about the um, prospect of your new experience is exciting. It doesn't last forever. Eventually things start to get harder because you're in a new place where things don't work exactly the same way that they did at home. As things be become more logistically and, and practically challenging, the curve starts. Um, you're actually experiencing culture shock. Most individuals are able to persist through that low point and start to recover. The curve marks by the humor start to rebound. It becomes a normal part of everyday life. Individuals start to know what to expect and take it in a more lighthearted way. Getting help from friends is an effective way to drag oneself out of the low point. Jin Yu came to the U.S. with a group of friends together. They made her feel better. Whenever we are upset, we, you know, we talk to each other and we will comfort each other. Ina lives with an American family. They made it very easy uh, for me to be separate from my own family because they just became my second family. Hostility struck Jasmine. When her phone was robbed, she grew hatred to that race of people for three weeks. What pulled me out of it was um, like my friends. Just like I spent more time with them and then I realized how stupid that was. Multiple organizations on campus provide activities for students to get involved and Samuel benefited from that. Activities trying to integrate us into the community. For me, that's one of the major key points I'll take. MCISA hosts cultural festivals, holiday celebrations, and career workshops to help students engage and build up communities. We try to infuse all of our programs with an opportunity for students to interact with one another across cultures. ESL invites students to celebrate Halloween and Thanksgiving together. Spring Feast is another thing they do to release stress after a long semester. I work with uh, other groups on campus, MCISA, the Health Center, student advising, to loosely monitor students, how they're, how they're interacting with other students. Most individuals stay at a high point where they recover, and it's like a new normal in a new place. But sometimes, cultural adjustment will happen in cycles. The curve will look more like a W, because individuals often find themselves adjusting and adapting again. I'm really sad about leaving and leaving all my friends now in America to go to Germany and leaving all the connections that I made here. And Ina will move back to Germany after graduation in May, or Jasmine will stay so for her career. Actually, even though three years doesn't sound like that long, I feel like I belong to St. Louis, or like this is my place. At Webster University, this is Yue Zhang.